Burgess here with Music Marketing TV. Today we are looking at Halo Up Mix and Halo Down Mix. We're going to be taking a track of mine. This is just, you know, stereo to track. And we're going to be converting it to be a 5.1 track. Uh, it's actually super easy. Like, check this out. So this is the track, right? If you look, it's just stereo. It's coming out here. I should mention, you know, it's YouTube. So you're going to be hearing it in stereo. And uh, we're listening over headphones. I'm listening over headphones. So this whole setup is kind of weird. But it's for the sake of just showing you how easy this is to go from stereo to surround uh, pretty instantly. So let's go ahead and search here. We're going to go for Halo Up Mix. And we are looking for stereo to 5.1. And if we click this, here it is. You saw there's a bunch of other options. Uh, for higher order options, there's like an extension you need if you want to deal with like 3D audio that deals with like vertical stuff, just so you know. Um, I haven't dive, dove into that as much, so you might maybe some additional research there, but we're just dealing with 5.1 for now. If I play it, it's already in 5.1. There you go, check it out. So it's it's pretty cool if you've never put your own music through this process just to hear it. It's just like a different experience. But we have here some controls here, some arcs. Um, so for example, we could have it so that there's very little divergence from the center channel. And if you go all the way, we lose the center channel because um, the center channel is now a phantom center. So it'll happen when the left and the right play the same stuff. Basically, you know, they have the mono information. Um, and they match up, then it's going to sound like it's coming out of the center. That's why it's sometimes called a phantom center. Gives the impression it's there, but it's not really. Uh, so this is sort of how wide your mix is going to be, right? How much on the side channels we're going to have. We've got an LFE here with a level control and also an area where it splits if we want to give it a frequency cutoff, not let it do its thing automatically. Uh, so if we just play this, you can sort of just see how it sits. <laughs> Can adjust some of these sliders here. So you can see these sort of as you know, just how how big your image is going to be over surround, how surroundy it's going to be. I guess one way of saying it. So we could go to arc link and link all these together, so that when we move them, they act sort of like a global control, which could be kind of nice if you just want to set a general space uh, once you start it up. And then you may want to turn this off because there are some sub menus that um, when you mess with this, you want to make sure you're not touching the other things. This this button stays in those menus though. Like it'll it'll be available when it's necessary. Uh, you've got a couple of global controls and one other control we should probably look up down here is the exact control. So Halo Up Mix, in order to do this, may do a few things that make it so that the down mix isn't your exact stereo reproduction, which could potentially be a problem. So they've given you the exact option, which will guarantee that it will go down to the um, exact down mix that you started with. So just, just to be aware of this. I also believe it's only available in certain circumstances where like a previous existing down mix may exist. But, you know, don't quote me on that. You're going to have to try it for yourself. But I believe a stereo down mix such as we have here is already would be necessary. Anyways. We've got some diffusion here. This is just kind of like how this how things are spread out. More diffusion, you know, you could kind of think of it as a little blurrier of an image. And then higher or less diffusion, a little more defined. So I think by default, it's at somewhere around 70. And that's pretty much like it for the interface. Like it's pretty straightforward. You've got the LFE, uh, you've got a shelving filter. Um, now let's say that you've got some dialogue and you want to be sure that that dialogue is coming out the center channel. Well, if you go over to center, you have some additional controls here. And again, this is where like the arc link being on and off, you might want to just uh, pay attention to that uh, just in case, you know, because it, there's only one arc here, but you could be touching other arcs. So just looking at this, they have here a special dialogue mode that if you turn this on, you can make it more or less aggressive, which is just to say it'll, it'll do more to isolate the, di the dialogue. And this will put it in the center channel. By default, it already does like a pretty bang up job, like real good. So you may, you're probably not going to need this, but should you want to have this on, you know, maybe you're not getting the result you want. You could try this out and you may find that it, it helps quite a bit. So again, this is just to help keep the dialogue there. Now, I don't have dialogue in this particular example, but uh, that's what this is there for. There's also some additional um, LFE stuff here. Um, if you're curious on like 
you, you again have some divergence here and the ability to split it. You can solo it, that kind of a deal. Um, and then once you're done, you pretty much have your up mix. It's extremely fast. Honestly, most of the time, especially when I'm doing something like this, it's as simple as coming in here, adjusting a few sliders, and then boom, I'm good to go. Um, and if I want to, I can come in and begin to affect channels, you know, with some multi-channel plugins, some surround stuff, and, you know, have a good time. So let's go ahead and take a look here at going back down. Let's say that you start it with a higher channel count and you want to go back down. So we do have something for that. It's called down mix. We're going to go for halo down mix. We're going to, this time we're going to go from 5.1 to stereo. Halo down mix is easily as intuitive as halo up mix. Uh, so in this case, by default, since we started in stereo, we're pretty much already good to go. It's just going to go back to the way things were. But you can see there's only one control here. This time it controls panning and it'll go back down to our stereo here. So we could have a very narrow image. It's probably not what we want. Open it up. We can see our channels over here, how they're coming in. And what's kind of cool about this one is if you're dealing with true, you know, surround and you're coming back, you want to go down to stereo. It can be hard to give the impression with the rear channels that they are in the rear, right? There's going to be some delay requirements, you know, in general to give a similar impression. And so they actually have here, you can set the delay manually, which if you do this with stereo, and since I never had true surround, this just kind of makes the whole thing sound blurry. Daisy, I should say. Kind of, kind of funny to me. But they also have a seat control. And if you play it and you have seat going, it'll actually run some computations to try and figure out what an ideal delay time would be like for these channels coming in, which is pretty freaking cool. After you have your delay figured out for your rear channels, if you have an LFE uh, going on, you're able to filter that, send that in. And then what's real nice is you, at the very end, have a high pass filter and a mono filter. So if you wanna mono out that low end to deal with any potential phase issues over a stereo system, you can do so. And you can also high pass filter it to also kill any of the low stuff. That might've worked in you know surround, but isn't such a good idea inside of stereo. Uh, but that's that's down mix. Down mix is honestly super easy, super straightforward to use. Sound comes in, gets down mixed, goes out, and halo up mix is the opposite. Sound comes in, gets up mixed, goes out, and it's that easy. So if you've not tried it out, it really is quite the experience to just open it up. You're going to need to get in an environment that you know provides surround and uh, try running your music through it. If you're mixing for film, though, this could be extremely handy if you want to, you know, start exporting for various formats, but you don't want to have to redo your mix over and over and over, but you still want great results because, you know, you spent all this time making this great mix. Well, this is one way to do so. What you could do is you could get a bunch of Nugent sends, send them down various channels with, you know, Halo down mix on them, and then you could get a bunch of down mixes for various setups very quickly. Uh, but that's just a few cases where... Uh, you might find these things very useful. If you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos. And have a blessed day.